Last week, Camille and I were in McBride. If you're just passing through McBride, it's easy to think there's nothing here except for mountains, mountains, and, well, trains and mountains. But like any small town, you don't really know what's there until you dig a little deeper. Like, I thought I found a cult, but it was actually just a leftover school assignment. I also saw a bunch of things that you're not going to see anywhere else except for McBride, including their organic store, which is nice. So while Camille was teaching her social media for small businesses course, I decided I would hit the streets. Or street, I guess. My hunt led me to the farm store, a place where local farmers can get feed, medicine, supplies, and a whole whack of other stuff. But most importantly, I got to meet Calvin, the farm store's mascot and unofficial McBride mayor. A box-sitting, receipt-eating, cross-eyed mouse murderer really stole my heart. For Denise Young, she has nothing but good things to say about McBride. It's a great small town. It's beautiful here, number one. It's a good place to raise children because it is a small town and everyone kind of looks out for your, for your kids and looks out for each other here as well. All this looking out for each other was making me hungry, so I found a place to eat at the end of the street. Enter Beanery 2 Bistro, a sandwich and coffee shop that you literally could not feel more at home in. Andy, Donna, Beanery 2 Bistro and McBride. Opening over 10 years ago, the Beanery is a favorite with tourists and locals alike. They also make the best goddamn sandwiches on the planet, just as an assignment. After lunch, Andy took me into the secret crown jewel of McBride, a huge miniature train set located in the old storage room of the train station. A hobby that has turned into a fitting tribute for a town so influenced by the railroad and a stunning achievement of attention to detail. It's not every day that you get to see a miniature train set, and one of this size and scale kind of blew my mind. I came to McBride not really knowing what I would find. What I did find was beautiful mountains and open, loving people. So next time you're driving through McBride, or any other small town for that matter, stop in and see what you can find. You might be surprised.